Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all gameplay commentary. Here I am in the map Hard Hat with the G36C Assault Rifle. I have two attachments, the Red Dot and Silencer. Now I wanted to talk with you guys today about Call of Duty being built for noobs, and specifically this time around, Modern Warfare 3 being built for noobs. I did a video a while back where I talked about specifically how Call of Duty, as of right now, now as a franchise, as a series on console, is built for noobs. It is built to be as accessible as possible by any and every gamer that one could hope to find on the street. It is designed so that those fringe gamers, those those people that, that don't consider themselves quote, hardcore FPS players, are able to do well and not only are they able to perform manageably, but they are able to perform with enough enough success that they return and they keep buying Call of Duty titles. Now that was, that that video was received actually quite well, surprisingly, but it was really of my own creation. It was just, it was me saying, hey, you know what? This is, this is just what I think. This is what I see. And this is what I think. Now, this is another one of those instances where I turn out to be right. There was a, an interesting last few days on Twitter concerning Robert Bowling. He got in a, in a tussle with some people over whether Call of Duty, or specifically Modern Warfare 3, whether this game is a is a success, given the critical response and the, the response of hardcore gamers and sales. And, and it talks about all that, and actually I want to do a video later on about whether this game is, is actually a success, because there's two different schools of thought on how this game has played out and and really they both have well no one of them has a good argument the other one is just kind of well it's activision so there you go but anyway i was i decided to jump in and weigh on weigh in on this because robert bowling in my mind was just going a little bit too far uh with his with his crap in, in my mind. And so I have, I'm have. i going to read to you a few tweets. First of all, this is Robert Bowling's tweet 402. He tweets at two people. He says, quote, I think it's safe to say we don't cater to any crowd now. Call of Duty is no longer a hardcore only game. And my response to 402 is, quote, that's a pretty big logic fail. If Call of Duty no longer caters only to the hardcore, then you must have started catering to others. And then I said, just admit without equivocations of any kind that that you made this game to be as accessible by noobs as possible. That explains the double talk on Final Stand, the potent death streaks, nonsensical revenge spawning, OP weapons, etc. Just say, quote, yes, we made this game so as many off the street casual gamers as possible would do well enough to keep buying Call of Duty. Those were, of course, spread across a few different tweets. And this is Robert Bowling's response, quote, at Lefty643, our goal with Modern Warfare 3 was to give you a platform to play how you want, making it, ex making it accessible to everyone and to cater to no one. That was Robert Bowling talking about his game Modern Warfare 3, and there he says specifically, this game was made to be as accessible as possible. Obviously, there was a lot of spin on his part. He was he was walking the company line. But that admission is actually admitting a lot. Because while he didn't specifically admit to saying, yes, we made this game for noobs, in, in his version, in his colloquialism, he did. He admitted... Yes, we made this game for noobs. We saw the hardcore crowd, and we decided to alienate them somewhat and bring in and make this game easier for the bad players, for the newbie players. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that, and there's nothing wrong with liking and loving Modern Warfare 3. Hell, I play it still. There's nothing wrong with liking and loving this game, and there's nothing wrong with it, with what Activision did. That was a very astute business move, and I don't fault them for that. I personally, on, a, on, on some level, I don't agree with alienating the hardcore crowd. I think they went a little bit too far in that, and I think they just kind of threw us, threw us hardcore players to the wind. wind. But here's the thing. It's not it's it's not a bad thing that you like this game. That doesn't make you bad. That doesn't make you a noob or anything like that. But here's the thing. To the people in the community that don't like Modern Warfare 3, that hate Modern Warfare 3. Here we have Robert Bowling, the creative strategist of Infinity Ward, saying that yes, we did this. We made this game for noobs. And really, 
given his affinity for the subject, it's going to continue. And so I ask you before I sign off here, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you did enjoy, I am out.